It is my pleasure as the president of the South England Conference to be able to bring greetings to our members at the end of the year and also to take an opportunity to look back on uh, 2012, what the year has been and what it's meant for us. Now, we began the year uh, with a, a very positive uh, feel. We were looking forward to the Olympics and also to the Queen's Jubilee. And so our churches were charged and geared up uh, for mission in 2012. One of the things we said to uh, our pastors is that we could not afford uh, to sleepwalk our way through the Olympics. This was the biggest event uh, in any of our lifetimes in this country and we needed to make sure that we, we engage. And so I was very pleased uh, with the way in which our churches uh, responded, our pathfinders were on the streets for both for the Queen's Jubilee and also welcoming in the, 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 the flames as it uh, passed through the various towns and villages of this country. Uh, we were there to, to witness and to make our presence felt. And so I was very pleased uh, with the way our members responded to the Olympics. The Southingham Conference also had uh, several events. Uh, we had the fun day in the park. Uh, that went so well, in fact, that the local borough council there in Newham has given us the permission to run that event annually. Now, isn't that uh, fantastic? Uh, we also saw um, our communities engage, our churches engaging with the community uh, through the Queen's Jubilee street parties. And what we discovered was that the community really uh, want to get to know us as a people. So if we're willing to make the effort, uh, the community is willing to uh, respond. And so we thank God for that. Uh, during the time of the Olympics, we put on uh, two uh, days of fellowship. Uh, those went very well and the intention there was uh, to have something that uh, members, people who were coming into the country from different uh, places around the world had somewhere to go on the Sabbath and that really worked. We had the heritage singers, Lano Harris, and what a fantastic event that was. And it was my privilege to meet with some of those who were working in the Olympic Village, coming to our day of fellowship and saying to me what a blessing it was <clears throat> uh, for them. Even though uh, we were focusing on the Olympics, in fact, we used the Olympics as an evangelistic tool. Uh, and so I was very pleased with uh, the way our churches uh, continued with the uh, flame of evangelism. Uh, we've had many churches reporting uh, multiple baptisms and for that uh, we give God thanks. Um, 2012 has also been a year uh, when we were privileged, uh, some of us, to uh, go to uh, the island of Jamaica and to uh, help the Open Arms project there. Uh, Open Arms uh, is a project where they take uh, down and out men off the streets of uh, Kingston, men who have been deported from England and uh, the United States, Canada, and they uh, end up on the streets of Kingston, uh, Montego Bay, and they are taken to this uh, facility and provided uh, a place where they are rehabilitated into society. And we were able to go put a roof, doors, windows, uh, and electrify a derelict building uh, for which Sister Grant, the proprietor, is eternally uh, grateful. During the Olympics, we saw our churches engaging uh, with the community. Uh, we saw our of some of our departmental directors uh, being out there. There were health checks um, in various events around the conference. Uh, we are passionate about health. We, we had the More Than Gold Challenge, uh, the Green Sabbaths, where we're encouraging our members to walk to church on two Sabbaths. And uh, I know that I was one of those who participated in that. Uh, there were the plays uh, Beyond Gold, uh, Mervyn Weir, uh, Thou Shalt Not with uh, Mark Gray, uh, Jermaine Wong's uh, be, the, the, There Was War. So there were several things that we, uh, we from the conference sponsored to make sure that the Olympic event was uh, meaningful and we're just very, very pleased with the way uh, these things went. I remember visiting the mural that was unveiled uh, in uh, Luton, their a partnership between the church and the community uh, with the Olympic theme and uh, 
Uh, we, there was an American artist that came over and helped the church with that. 2012 has also been a year where the, this conference has been impacted by several deaths in, in a way that I've never known it in 28 years of ministry. Uh, we have seen several uh, pastoral families impacted by death, not to mention uh, the amount of deaths uh, around the conference. Uh, we uh, saw the loss of uh, Pastor Richard Holder, uh, a, a tragic loss to uh, our conference. We also had the retired pastor uh, Malcolm, uh, who also uh, died this year. We have also seen uh, Pastor Burnett, uh, one of our uh, field pastors, his wife Pauline died uh, also this year. And now uh, Pastor Richard Delissa, his mother-in-law has also died. And so we want to pay a tribute to all those families. And uh, for our community, the wider community, where uh, one pastor said to me, uh, Sam, uh, every day next week for, for four days, I will be conducting a funeral. It just seems as if we've seen so many of our members uh, passing away this year. And we want to pay a tribute to, uh, to those members and to the contribution uh, that they have made to the South England Conference during the time uh, that they are with us. And it, let me also uh, say, members, that you know we have a health message, and this is uh, a time for us to be thinking seriously uh, about what we can do to make sure we uh, enhance the quality uh, of our health. And may God be with you at this time of the year as you think seriously about uh, prolonging uh, your, your life. Um, we want to also, as we come to the close of the year, mention the mission to the big cities. Uh, the mission to the big cities is something that has been launched by our General Conference President, uh, Ted Wilson, and the GC city is New York. They want to reach the indigenous populations of these countries uh, and uh, the ten tra Trans European Division has chosen as their big city, London. And so they are, we are working in partnership with the Union and the Trans European Division uh, in the coming year. We want our members to be excited about evangelism. We have chosen the uh, town of Potter's Bar as a new uh, town just on the edge of London there uh, where we can uh, try and, uh, and reach the host uh, population for the Lord Jesus Christ. We will be having training events uh, throughout the year. Uh, some of our pastors will be going to uh, the Field School of Evangelism uh, in New York to see how they actually roll out uh, their program and then we'll be bringing that back to us here uh, in London for our pastors to be uh, engaged in. As we close out uh, the year 2012, I want to say thank you to our members uh, for the valued contribution that you have continued to make. Uh, this has been um, another year of recession. In fact, this year we saw the double dip recession. We have felt that uh, double dip here in the conference. We have seen uh, our tithe uh, income uh, fall as a result of that. But I have to say thank you uh, for your continued faithfulness because in spite of the fact that we are in a double dip recession, uh, tithe continues to remain at about 12 million uh, pounds for the year. And that's only because of your continued faithfulness. And we say thank you. We have a message of hope to bring to the world. And let me say that as we move towards Christmas, uh, I know that there are some who do not like to hear that word. But let me just say that Ellen White tells us that we need to use the seasons to preach the gospel. And so here at Christmas, uh, we want to use uh, Christmas as a time when we can engage our communities. I believe that every church should have a carol service where people are amenable uh, to coming into the churches at this time of the year and hearing the message of the Lord Jesus Christ. What a wonderful opportunity. And I don't think that uh, we should miss, miss such an opportunity to witness for the Lord Jesus Christ. 2012 has been a year of blessing. It's also been a year of tragedy. It hurts me every time I hear of uh, countries that are fighting one another. 
I woke up one morning to hear that uh, the warships of Israel were bombing Gaza. None of us want to hear that. And so let us pray that uh, 2013 will be a better year, a year where uh, there, will, there will not be so much tragedy, so much pain, so much heartache. We also trust that uh, 2013 is, will be that year when we see our churches ablaze with the mission of the Lord Jesus Christ taking uh, the gospel to the streets. We want to begin, we will be beginning the year 2013 with the Evangelism Expo. We want all our members to come and be trained up as we prepare them for mission to the big cities. The, we have a gospel of hope and we want you to end the year with that message of hope. May the Lord be with you. May the Lord bless you in 2013.